and welcome to my channel. I am Crystal O and today I'm going to be talking about how to flourish in a high stress season of life. So disclaimer, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert guys, but I will say that I have been through a series of stressful seasons of life and I have a lot of insight and a lot of just experience with um, living through these seasons, maybe in a more so not so great way and kind of seeing what it looks like to flourish in the midst of these stressful seasons. So I've kind of been on both ends of the spectrums. I've gotten it wrong before, and in some cases I've gotten it right. So just a little background about me. I'm currently in grad school. I graduate in May, that's next month, y'all. So close, so close. I graduate in May, and um, I am currently, I recently got married um, in November on the 24th, um, November 24th, 2018, um, to my amazing husband. So I am a newlywed, and um, yeah, just so many different transitions that have been going on, and I feel like I have pretty much been on this fast-paced, stressful season of life since I graduated from college, and it hasn't been like the easiest, but it has been good for me to learn from it, to grow from it, and to continue to endure and flourish and grow and etc. So today I'm just going to jump into um, a few points that um, you may or may not already be considering or doing that may be helpful for you in your life. So the first point is appreciating the good. I think oftentimes we lose track of what's going well and we dwell on what's going wrong. I think we can all get caught up in our head thinking about all the hundreds of things that are going wrong and we forget how much God has blessed us. We forget how much we have. We forget, you know, how others dream for what we have. And not even like that should be our motivation, like oh, others dream for what I have. But no, like people are literally across the world like wishing they could have the freedom you have, wishing they could have the resources you have. And I think when you put it all into perspective, it changes the game. It changes the way you see your circumstance in that moment. Like, wow, I do have a roof over my head. Wow, I do have maybe a loving family. Wow, I do have good friends. Wow, I do have clothes on my back. Like, I have necessities um, and I'm grateful for that. So I think that in the midst of the stressful season, you're going to want to revert to negative thoughts, negative thinking patterns. Like, you know, I don't have what I need. Um, I'm being abandoned. I'm not this. Like, you want to, you're going to want to revert to negative thinking, negative thoughts. And your brain is probably going to revert more to, you know, having emotional responses instead of having more rational and logical responses. I would just say to make sure that you have maybe a gratitude journal. I had taken a picture of my journal and put it on my Insta story for you guys to see what it looked like. I actually haven't used it in a while, but um, I think that having a gratitude journal or just having a notebook where you could write out things you're grateful for daily would be ideal to remember like, whoa, I do have what I need and my life isn't as bad as I'm believing it to be or my life isn't, my circumstances aren't as harsh as I, I feel them to be. And sometimes our feelings aren't always true. They're not always right. So in those moments, you can use truth to kind of redirect your feelings and kind of bring them into alignment with reality. My second point would be that you cannot, 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 cannot be everything to everybody. What did I say? You cannot be everything to everybody. And that's something that I have had to learn in this season of life right now because being a wife and then being a grad student and then being, you know, on YouTube or being a cre content creator, like I love creating content, but doing all these things and like, you know, going to internship and being a daughter and being a, 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 ser a server in church and, you know, it's just like, it's so much stuff, but realizing that in the midst of this, I don't have to be everything to everyone. Sometimes we feel guilty because we want to help everybody, especially for me. So like, if you heard of the Enneagram, my personality type is a three, when two, and basically threes are overachievers and performers, and twos are helpers. So that mix means that I'm wanting to help everyone. And you know, sis can't help everyone because I only have one body, I only have two hands, you know? So I do the best I can, you know? And that's what I would tell you if you feel like you get stuck in these ruts where you want to be everything to everyone and then feel guilty when you can't. So my advice here is that you cannot be everything to everyone, but you can devote what you can to people. You can give the time that you can to others without overextending yourself or burning yourself out. And I really love this quote that I heard one time when I was at this conference and it was like, God is not glorified with your burnout. Like you being burnt out for God is not something to celebrate. 
you being burnt out because you're not taking the time to take it back, bring it in, and really just allow God to fill you up, take care of your own self, take care of, you know, the things that you're needing spiritually, mentally, physically, um, and yeah, you're just basically neglecting yourself, and that's not cute. God did not call you to neglect yourself um, and forget that you, you matter as well. So my next point would be community. You need to be surrounded by people who get it, and sometimes you may not even have anyone around you that gets it, but the hope is that in having community, you'll be around people who can support you emotionally, who can support you mentally, who can support you, you know, whatever in whatever area it may be. This is really important so that you know that, hey, I'm understood by someone. I'm not a crazy lady. I'm understood by some people or someone. Um, so it's so important that you find community, that you find people who get it. Not everyone will get it, guys. Everyone will not get it. They will not understand the season of life you're in. They will not understand the stressful season that you're in and that's okay there's grace for those people as well you know there's grace for everyone so don't take it too hard when people you know kind of come at you sideways or come at you in a way that you're like wait what like you don't even want to say what's going on in my life but just grace to all of it grace to all of it um, and just find your people that's what I would say find your people who get it find your people who support you find your people who encourage you um, and that will be there for you in that season and I think that that that's that's more telling of those individuals who are along with you in that stressful season and also you'll know they're right or guys you'll know that they were there when it was tough so it's super helpful um, I mean just seeing also on the other end of the spectrum what that looks like in a friendship or what that would mean for your friendships my next point would be show yourself grace I think that sometimes we do a very poor job of resting we do a very poor job of practicing self-care we do a very poor job of like just allowing ourselves to be present we we just don't do the best job of that because sometimes we feel like we need to be on the go sometimes we feel like we need to be productive or we need to be doing something to feel of some kind of value or whatever but I just wanted to encourage you to know that you can show yourself grace in the midst of the season that you're in. You will get some things wrong. You will regret some things you do. You will, you know, not always have a good day. You will not always do things right. But in the midst of not doing things right, show yourself grace. Don't result to beating yourself up mentally or beating yourself up emotionally or, you know, self-doubt or just things that would cause you um, to feel just so negatively about yourself and your life and just um, who you are. Like there's, there's rest for you. Like there is rest for you. Um, and there's a need to show yourself grace in the midst of a chaotic season of life because things are already out of control around you so how much more you know will you feel internally whenever things are so crazy around you so I used to intern at a psychiatric hospital and one thing my supervisor always said to the patients was the more out of control you feel on the inside the more in control you feel you need to be on the outside and I felt that like hashtag I felt that hashtag it, you you are you adding me like what like what's happening here like you're, you're you're yelling sir you're yelling I felt that to my core because how many of you have experienced that when you feel out of control on the inside you start cleaning up you start trying to like control manipulate things going on around you um, and that's literally what happened so another suggestion in this circumstance would be identifying that being able to identify when you feel out of control on the inside and knowing that oh okay this is a cue I started doing blank and blank meaning that I feel out of control and I need to take care of that I need to resolve that I need to lay that down at the cross I need to talk to somebody I need to let this out you know I need support those are cues to help you know like something is not not going right up there and I need to make sure that I'm seeking help and not align myself to maybe even result to more um, unhealthy coping mechanisms that would you know in the long run affect you or impact you in a not so great way and then my last point would just be change your thinking your thoughts impact your emotions and your emotions impact your behaviors if you're always thinking that you're a failure then you're going to start feeling really sad or disappointed or angry or whatever it would be. And then those emotions will now impact your behavior. So you may start feeling helpless. You may start feeling irritated. You may start feeling, you know, like you want to compare yourself to people like, you know, like, oh, they're doing such a great job. What am I doing? Like, it's going to result to a more so negative behavioral expression that you probably are not wanting. So 
nip it in the butt. When you realize that you're having an irrational thought, catch it. Just catch it. Catch it and put it away. <laughs> okay? Combat that irrational thought with a more rational one. Look at that irrational thought and think to yourself, is there enough evidence to support this irrational thought? Okay, there's not. Cancel. It's done, you know? So make sure you're taking captive these, these thoughts. Like, scripture even says, take captive these thoughts and make them submit to the power of God. And I feel like just the thought that um, scripture is using the word take captive. These thoughts are rampant. They will just be running around, running and running and destroying things and scattering things and really just causing us to um, just be in a place of like just chaos in a sense. So um, take captive these thoughts. Like this, these are war terms. So the manner in which we need to deal with irrational thoughts or thoughts that raise themselves against the power of God or try to make them equal with the power of God and or, or even above the power of God need to be taken captive and brought down to submit to the power of God. So yeah, that's just really what I would say when it comes to your thoughts because y'all, your thoughts are powerful. Your thoughts impact your emotions. And those emotions will impact your behaviors and those behaviors can become habits and patterns of living that we don't want to be in. So nip it in the butt early and as quick as possible. All right guys, so that's basically the suggestions and tips that I would have when it comes to flourishing in a high stress season of life. Um, I'm still in a high stress season of life, but like I said, I refuse to just like live in a dark hole and you know, live in a state of anxiety or live in a state of just frustration and anger. Like I'm not gonna do that. Instead I'm going to fight. I'm gonna go out swinging, okay? And it's not gonna last forever. My stressful season will not last forever. And I have to remind myself that when my brain wants to say that, oh, my life sucks, this and that, that, this and the third, no. First of all, it will not last forever. And I'll be so much more refined at the end of this process, at the end of the season, at the end of this journey. So that's one thing that I can also be thankful for. So yeah, I just hope this video was super encouraging for you. And I also just wanted to quickly wrap up with praying for you guys, um, wherever you are in your journey of life, whether it's a really, really hard season where you like, feel like you're feeling at everything in life or you're losing stuff, you know, that mean the most to you in life or whatever it is. Um, I just want to quickly pray over you right now and just um, close the video with a prayer. So, um, God, we just thank you for those watching. We thank you for your daughters or your sons or whoever's just watching this video, God. And we just ask, God, that you will meet them in their season right now, God, that you will be their comfort right now in this season, God. I pray that you will just allow them um, to take captive these thoughts that are destroying them, God. These thoughts that are controlling them and allowing them to maybe walk in a way that's not just or a way that's not righteous, God. I pray that in the moments where they feel chaotic, God, that you will, you will be their calm, God. That you will be their peace, God. That you will bring peace that passes all understanding, Jesus. Um, so I just thank you for life. I thank you for the good that comes out of life. I thank you for the good in you. Um, and I just ask that, sh that you will just um, be with us, God, that you will be with me, that you will be with them, and that you will just um, allow us to come out of this stressful season victorious um, in your name. And it's in your name that I pray. Amen. Amen. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it with someone you know that is in a high stress season of life. And subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.